Assalamu alaikum guys in this video I will show you why I decided to avoid using sync and its methods when I work with many to many relationships let's start here I have my own table right for post tag and its many to many relationship and as we can see here this post id 45 has 5000 tag it's a similar to the case that I faced in the last few days and here's a relationship between post and tags tags has many or belong, belongs to many using post tag table and now for this pivot table I want to update the status for this tag id to be one so here simply I have this code post find 45 using a tags relationship and I want to sync without detaching let me fix it quickly here right the id of the tag that I want to change or update and I will run the query here works correctly without any problem so fast and it's okay if we saw here the time that it take it's about 11 milliseconds let's do it with update existing pivot here I will set it to zero again and back and try don't forget it takes 11 milliseconds with sync method but if I refresh now as we can see here it takes only 6 milliseconds you will face an errors if you have 10 thousands of record or even 100 thousand of records like in my case so it's okay it's not that so many time but if you notice here it takes only the half of time of sync and so fast let's try to delete using sync for example here I will say to delete here I will say sync right and I will give it an embedded array to sync back and refresh again for deleting you will see a very big query takes so many time using where in here where tag id in and the time is half second or 300 millisecond let's do it using detach if you want to delete or remove all of our tags first I will seed it again I now have the same 5000 and instead of this I will use detach back and check again detach takes only 20 milliseconds super fast back and check everything will delete it so here's actually the key behind this I notice this big difference while working with very big data it's not clear with small or it's not that clear for small amount of data and also don't forget to use the features of where pivot functions so here we have where pivot for using the same words like in normal relationship for example where tag id equal to for example 901 it doesn't has actually we can say first i will say also here return now it's an alt okay so you can use where pivot where pivot in and using update existing pivot for best performance so here's quickly why I avoided using sync when I work with many to many relationships if you find it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you next videos